This video is funded by the Children's Bureau. Communicating your results to staff and key decision makers. Choose a clear, brief format that will allow your audience to quickly grasp the information you're presenting. When appropriate, share your findings widely for the greatest impact. That helps stakeholders develop solutions to shared problems. It also creates healthy debate, challenges assumptions, and fosters innovation. The Greene County Implementation team members took the reasons for the delayed licensing to their executive team. The executive team appointed a work group that included foster family advocates, agency licensing staff, and policy staff. The work group reviewed paperwork requirements and made recommendations that led to a more streamlined and simplified process. They also created a part-time position to support appointment scheduling, follow-up, and paperwork. This freed up licensing staff to work with more families. The last step is making sure your results are applied to foster meaningful change in your organization and perhaps beyond. Create opportunities for ongoing discussion and action among decision makers and stakeholders. As part of this process, test your observed findings against your theory of change and consider alternative strategies when your data do not support the theorized links between program activities and expected outcomes. You can repeat the data-driven decision-making cycle as often as needed. It is most successful when it is integrated into an organization's core operations and management. At Greene County Department of Human Services, the data-driven decision-making process incorporated multiple perspectives and facilitated learning and collaborative action. Frontline staff reviewed and updated the spreadsheets and charts used to create their data dashboard to determine the most effective recruitment activities. Managers used the dashboard to help staff stay on track and to allocate resources appropriately. They provided training on recruitment strategies as needed and hired additional staff. Greene County's executive team met monthly to review the accumulating findings and support the organization's capacity to recruit additional foster and adoptive families and track permanency rates. Through the data dashboard, the team was pleased to see the rates of licensure completion increase and time to completion decrease over time. Greene County staff continued to collect and monitor data to determine which changes were effective. They revisited their theory of change and updated it to reflect the findings from the data-driven decision-making process and to reflect on new paths and strategies to increase licensing and permanency rates even further. Data can be a key driver of constructive decision-making. People and context give the data meaning and power. Data-driven decision-making changes the discourse in human service organizations from opinions, anecdotes, and turf issues to hard facts and actionable information. In short, data-driven decision-making asks, this is what the data show. How should we respond? The process leads to a richer understanding of programs, organizations, and systems, and maximizes the potential for positive change. For more information about data-driven decision-making, please visit the Children's Bureau website at www.acf.hhs.gov cb. This video was developed by James Bell Associates on behalf of the Children's Bureau, Administration for Children and Families, ACF, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, HHS, under contract number HHSP 2332015001. I, order number HHS P2333700 T. Its contents are the sole responsibility of the author and do not necessarily represent the official views or policies of the Children's Bureau, ACF, or HHS.